All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Well, 9.35, so I'm five minutes late. And then we're going to look into next game uh, today. That'll be against uh, Umer FC. So this is the second game of the season. We'll treat it like every game. We want to win, but uh, <coughs> we gotta re be reasonable about our chances. Especially as the squad's uh, slightly weakened. That's it, uh, Anthony Ishak was able to score a goal last match. Hopefully he's got some development left in him. If he plays a lot. And uh, Korovic, Sead Korovic, which we signed as a, well, let's say option in midfield. Did not manage to uh, score his penalty, but uh, at least he gave an assist for uh, Anton Ishak. So there's that. We do not know if this, uh, this well, low potential is realistic. Let's just wait and see. But uh, I really like the technicals about this guy. We couldn't have replaced uh, Oliver Swan uh, on par anyway. So that's all we have for us for now. Alright, so what will we do today? Well, first of all, uh, we gotta talk to the player base about the last match. This is not so much about, um, well, the last match anymore, but about uh, morale. And given that uh, most of them do not have perfect morale right now, we might as well do it now. So first of all, we'll do player talks. So let's look into the form. 6.7. He conceded one, he saved one, passing has really been bad. Um, I'm not sure what to say here to the goalkeeper. One goal conceded is not too bad. So we might as well praise his conduct here, but that's about it. Also, he's vice captain, he was on the pitch, so this is fine. Skilomo didn't play. Stolt didn't play, Tillander did. With uh, 7.0 and 5 key passes. I think this is a decent performance. Passing itself looks good too, so let's praise the passing. I mean, it's not wonderful, and the heading's certainly concerning, but uh, overall this is okay. I didn't expect much else of him. Verolin. I don't... is he still with the club? No, he's not on loan. I thought so. So Warwick came on and had a few minutes. Um, four out of six passes isn't great. He didn't uh, get any chances either, and his heading has been really bad. So let's try to criticize this. I think the leading the line um, option might have something to do with heading. Yeah, looks like it. Especially, uh, he, he should have helped defend uh, the lead. He didn't. Well, he did. But um, we didn't keep the lead. So this is not good. But he made a first team appearance. His first. So that's wonderful. Mesberg was on the bench. Viden. Viden actually played? Yeah, out of load. Wigberg. I think Wigberg came on. Yeah, minute 74. Four headers for one, so this is decent heading, let's tell him. And um, is there something we tell him, we would want to tell him that hasn't been great? Well, not so much. Not sure. Orberg didn't play for us this game. Alp came on, and uh, well, his tackling was great. One out of one. That's it. But overall, we conceded a goal in, in this period. Anderson had a decent game, I'd say. Thing is, 6.6 .6 isn't great, right? But uh, I want to give this guy, guy match practice and see where he can go. Just for being a perfectionist. And uh, we might as well do it this season. Anderson. I saw some plate last game. Yeah, sure, as a defensive midfielder, right. He did. Um, so his tackling was spot on too. 
let's tell him. Overall, though, there was a lot of tackling going on. Uh, we were going for a defensive formation. And he also won 9 out of 9 headers. So this is, this is a really great performance, to a degree. And we're also happy with his conduct so far. So let's tell him. Sure, now he's in perfect morale. This is good. Ostrom didn't play. Augustson... He's out on loan, is he? Yeah, he's out on loan. I got a new, learn a few uh, new player names, by the way, so uh, bear with me. Bengtsson, definitely with United IK now. Anton Berg didn't play for us, Bernson didn't either. This looks like trialists. So this is Baltigar Blom, he didn't play for us. Um, he wasn't selected. Yeah. Not much to tell him. We might praise his conduct, though, for... I mean... He didn't get any weird card, cards recently, so there's that. Korovic. Now, Korovic um, missed a penalty. But his passing was really good. Look at that. So even though he missed a penalty, but we, we'd rather um, maybe... Well, tell him his tackling was spot on, with one out of one. His heading wasn't great. But that's not his, not his strong suit, so it's unsurprising. So this is, this is something he needs to improve, right? Um, it's not so much about the jumping. Uh, well, actually, jumping reach and strength are somewhat tolerable. It's it's a good question. Why his heading isn't that uh, a bit better? Um, with that that uh, height, he could also develop a decent tackling, uh, decent decent heading at some point. But yeah, didn't help much. Kulovic uh, didn't play, wasn't selected. Dobrev is out on loan, I think. Malta Ekman was unused um, as a substitute, but he will come on the pitch this week. His conduct has been great. I mean, he didn't play. What shall he do? Falk is not with the club right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, or it's a trialist. Forsell did play the entirety of the last match. I feel like um, he could have contributed more with uh, chances created and creativity. So let's tell him. Okay, he accepts that. So this is alright. Hargedal. Hargedal was in previous in the air, like every single game. It's really rare that he isn't. There we go. Defensively, I'm not sure if I'm, I should be happy with it, but uh, let's be positive about it uh, for now. Hellstrom made a horrendous error in defense, and that's why we conceded the goal, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think we didn't. We didn't concede in that situation. But um, overall, um, I'm happy with his uh, his performance. But uh, what's this? False against. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with his performance overall. But um, going forward, we will need to um, to endure his bad marking, I'd say. Oh, he was already in perfect morale. I forgot that. Hugo Yulberg, and then there's Anton Ishak. I think this is where we started, right? No, it is not. Well, let's praise the last game just because he scored. Yeah, it was a great first performance. This is wonderful. Thank you very much. Khalili wasn't with, with the club. Playing as a trialist, I think. Dal played two passes, so his passing was 100%. This is wonderful. Now, if you'd create any more chances, that would be great. Fantastic. Melander didn't play for us, Da Silva didn't play, Muteba did. Yeah, that's not good, right? So, well, on the other hand, he had 8 interceptions, that's rather decent. This, this is the kind of performance where I'm not sure what to make of it. So, defensively, I'd say he was decent, with this amount of interceptions. Heading... Yeah, it could be better. Passing could be better. There's, there's no creativity in his game. That we can tell him. He needs to create chances for for our guys too. He played for five minutes. Great passing, five. 
out of five. Then there's Pruge. He played 85 minutes on a 6.5 rating. Let's just say it as it is. This is not good enough. For for somebody um, playing on the wing and uh, creating chances, this is not good enough. Yeah, he accepts it, but uh, not to a. He doesn't look very motivated. Let's put it like that. Look at this. What's going on here? Okay, this this pop up doesn't work here. What's going on? Hmm. Doesn't look like much so far. So maybe it's best if he uh, gets some time on the bench or even uh, out of the squad. I will clear this. Because I like to do things uh, once again. So we only prepared in teamwork and, and pressing for last match. That was an error on my behalf. For this match, there's a. Uh, there will be some rotation needed anyway. And uh, given that we practiced set pieces, we might go with maybe set piece delivery to um, overall include our set pieces and hopefully uh, make an impact. Okay. About making an impact, I don't know if I looked into this last time. So I think, yeah, I think I did. So just to recap that, um, I think we did correct, this is corners, I can look here all I want. Um, we noticed last match that it wasn't, it wasn't defensive formation though. Um, we noticed last match that uh, the taker here um, wasn't correct. Um, this was, um, this should be the right midfielder. Um, so it's not selected right now. But um, this should be uh, Talander or Warwick, and it was taken by Puget. And we corrected that in match, and I think we also corrected it afterwards. And I remember that because I tagged the last video for, uh, well, not tagged, I made timestamps for the last video um, for YouTube. So uh, that took me like three hours uh, for a three hour stream. It's uh, definitely one of the more fun parts of. Um, uploading videos to YouTube, but who knows, maybe it helps some people, in case they ever see it, or watch it, whatever. Okay, um, so, going forward, we gotta deal with two things, um, on one hand, we gotta feel the capable squad, on the other hand, um, we gotta deal with the lack of, um, the lack of uh, condition, and that will be there right from the start now. Um, so we will need to rotate. What's entirely clear by now, Malta Ekman will play in his role as a register. <coughs> There's not much discu discussion here. Um, Melander might make an appearance. Where is he? Melander? He might just make an appearance if he trains really well. And uh, good morning to you, Enigma Records. Um, it's going fine so far but we're one game into the season so um, <laughs> not much to tell just yet but um, overall the entirety of the save has been uh, rather enjoyable where I don't I don't know um, it's first time around here right so um, I, at least I don't remember you um, so sorry to say that but uh, yeah um, we're in Sweden uh, for, uh, this, this is the third division we're playing uh, as Jedehockdals IK and this is a, let's say this is a rather tiny club. I think the village has 250 to 500 inhabitants. It's in the middle of Sweden, uh, nowhere, in the nowhere basically. So um, I'm not too aware of uh, the specific circumstances, but um, there's some weird stuff going on. Yeah, welcome back and uh, I hope you have, you have a lot of fun. And you're welcome to uh, stick around and to watch our journey throughout the leagues. Um, well, it might we might just remain in this league though because uh, finances and stuff. So Puge accepted his uh, his warning, and uh, of course, uh, just like everyone else, let me know if you've got any questions and you know anything, recommendations, 
critique. I'm always open for that. So just drop it right into chat. And, uh, we can talk about it. And in case you don't have any, might as well share what you've been doing at Football Manager after getting back to it. For the forward, we got a problem that uh, Ishak will probably not be match fit. Or maybe not for 90 minutes. So this implies that uh, Kolafic might make an appearance. I'm not happy with that thought. He's a replacement as a striker. But on the other hand, he needs to play at some point if we want him to, him to develop into anything. And we cannot afford a second striker. Even of the quality of Ishak. Strikers are expensive and, uh, well, we are broke. More or less. Well, that's, that's not entirely true anymore. But uh, we gotta assume that we're broke if we want to do that training center. And uh, we want to do that training center just to be competitive in the league. So, yeah. That's what's going on. But first, let's take the bus, travel back. Look at our horrendous budget because we're playing in a North League this season. So travel expenses will be fun. Let's see. Yeah, great, right? So I don't know if this is a... Well, the month's been, been going on for 12 days. So this might be down to um, other things. I just remembered something though. Um, ju just as a warning, I might get a call um, today um, on the phone. That I might need to take. Um, so in case that happens, uh, you will be notified and uh, I will be away for a bit. But yeah, that's part of life, I guess. Okay. Gotta get... Um, I, I will um, travel back to, to my old apartment tomorrow. And, uh, well, give away the keys and stuff. So I'm waiting for... Um, I'm waiting for for the guy um, that uh, will meet me in the in the old apartment. Uh, um, yeah, check it. And he didn't call yet, even though uh, yeah it was promised. So uh, yeah, I'm waiting for this. And this is in another city, so yeah, you might you might guess it. It's a bit un a bit unnerving. Okay, we sold two additional season tickets, this means 200 and something euros uh, plus. That's uh, fine, this is the level uh, we are dealing with here. Yeah, so against Ume... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> hmm, voice. Uh, so this is against Ume. They play with, with this um, control possession style, I guess. Well, no, it's a it's a cautious me cautious mentality apparently, but um, still, apparently it's cautious and park the bus, whatever. Um, so they will uh, probably park the bus with us, and we will need to um, make do. That's on one hand that's uh, concerning, because uh, that means that we mm, well need to break them open or find some space in there. Let's just put these in, in reserve for now. Oh, this is a long message. Let me have a look. British Isles Journeyman. Nice. Well, this certainly sounds like a lot of fun. That's cool. I like that. I actually, I, I don't think I ever did a, some a save that specifically uh, journeyman. So um, yeah, I can see the appeal in that. Going forward, maybe I will do one uh, one day. But I'm I'm too. Let's say, I'm probably too loyal for that. Also, 2030, 2031, I cannot imagine to 
have achieved right now, um, just because I take forever for one season. So this is as as far as I can go. This this save started off stream. This, there's a lot of my free time already in this save. Uh, now let me check. No, well, not not that lot, Be because I moved apartments and uh, well, so it's not that much, but um, I can perfectly do five seasons and four thousand hours of playing time not a problem for me i can be very specific about uh, certain things in football manager and do them all myself so uh yeah 2030 will probably be a bit uh, far away on the other hand that's how i like to play it so yeah. most important part is you you're having fun so this is great at least the the sounds successful and uh yeah to me this sounds like a lot of fun, but so. I'd say it's a good investment of your time, and probably as well as the money. Because, um, yeah. Breaking it down for, for the hour, you probably had a lot of fun and uh, for, for what you invested. So, central defense. Hargedals might just make it for the next match. I think he came off um, of the bench. Yeah, and uh, for the other players, there most of the replacements might make an appearance here. So in a way, this is a dangerous um, situation because we don't have a, a second squad that's uh, on the level of the first one, and even the first one is too weak for the league. It's just what happened um, due to the player sales, and we cannot reinvest everything. We need the money for something else. Yeah, this will change, but I don't know how just yet. And a wonderful morning to you too, uh, Pobble. Welcome back to the stream. So, I'm not too sure about this. Against Hammerby. I feel inclined to go with overall for at least one session. Well, we'll see. Not sure about that yet. Oh, uh, what's going on in Sweden? Uh, we're uh, f up for the for the second uh, second game of the season against uh, Umeå, which uh, play a park of uh, park uh, the bus style, and uh, we're sitting on one point following a draw in an away game that we should have won, definitely. But, um, well, we didn't score the penalty. That might sound familiar to you. But at least uh, Anton Ishak, uh, yeah. I, I did I did uh, three hours yesterday. So in case you're interested in uh, the start of the season and some very extensive rambling ago about uh, set pieces, feel free to go over to YouTube and watch it at some point. It, uh, it certainly felt like a tutorial video about... Uh, about set pieces after two hours so um yeah also i promised my girlfriend to do two hours of streaming and maybe a few minutes and it turned out to be free so that was uh bad time management on my behalf but uh well i wanted to to finish the set pieces and do at least one match so yeah but i time stamped everything like, uh, if you're interested in corners from the right and a positive formation, got it covered now. Took me another three hours to timestamp all of that stuff. It was f really fun. <laughs> yeah, Let, let's tell that uh, to Korovic. Okay, but first of all, um, so um, I'll, I'll show you just for a second, because I, you might remember him, I'm not sure. So this is Korovic. He plays as a Metzala right now. For us, at least he did the last game. And uh, given his penalty taking, I thought he would, he would probably do it. But um, it was just a pass straight into the arms of the keeper. I think he might have been nervous, just like some of the others. And that might be a problem going forward for everyone. Um, especially uh, one of the nervous ones was Jonas Andersson. 
Yes, I realize he's not a good player anyway, but as a perfectionist, uh, being nervous, well, that was new to me. So, um, he apparently he doesn't deal well with pressure, or does he? Well, uh, considering this, he should probably deal well with pressure. Um, but he had a he had an acceptable game, so we're happy with that so far. Okay, so we play tomorrow against Yumo. What can we do there? Tillander is on on light load. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, skip a bit forward, though. Okay, we, we wanted to look through trials. Yeah, I I I see, but um, it's not like there's every, uh, anyone else that's uh, remotely useful in penalty taking, so he might as well do it. Do we want to sign this guy? Twenty eight years old, definitely not. He's he's not good enough, and he's too old, and we don't need him for the. This is about replacements for Puget. I feel, yes. This is about replacements for Puget, and well, Puget didn't want to leave, uh, despite the 15 or 16k we were offered for him. So we don't need a replacement for him anymore. That said, might as well look into these. Maybe there's a I don't know, model citizen in there somewhere. He is fairly sporting. Great. This is all... Yeah, I'm sorry to put it like this, but this is all rubbish. <laughs> We'd rather take the finish immediately than face the penalty. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. We'll go through the uh, press conference here. I have a fantastic record against him. Yeah, let's praise him for a second. We have won the last four matches against him. That might have to do with overlapping fullbacks and the fact that uh, we can... Cross the ball towards uh, Ian Al Holmstrom. Will that happen today? No. Why not? Because Ian Al Holmstrom doesn't belong to the club anymore. So uh, yeah, either Ishak uh, <laughs> turns up big style, or uh, maybe Kulovic will, which I will not do not expect. So let's hope for a draw, or I don't know, an accidental win, but. Uh, They know, yes? Great. And also, given that we uh, configured set pieces, um, we might uh, check those from time to time in-game, right? Sure. Sure, but uh, we got to be realistic about it. That's the, um, at the start of the season, something happened to me that never happened before. The chairman reduced the, the expectations. We were expected to do mid-table, and uh, at the start of the season, the expectation was lowered. That never happened to me in Football Manager. This might have to do with sell selling out uh, half of the squad. So there's that. Now we're only expected to avoid relegation again. So, the fans want to see Lilia Dahl and Ishak. I'm not opposed to the idea. Lilia Dahl had a... I cannot tell anything about his game. But uh, sure, he needs to get back into form. We want him to be an important player of the squad anyway. So he might as well play. <laughs> Just like me. Yeah. I might have... Might be the problem, yes. 
But Ishak seems to be match fit to a degree. So why not play him? There's no other training today. This is a home game, so no travel. I'm not sure if recovery for tomorrow is a good idea. Okay, but overall this looks uh, decent. Tactics-wise, they are well-schooled. This is not a primary trained tactic right now because, um, well, we're going, we started with an away game. So we went with the defensive tactic. Okay, let's look into training. Is there anyone that has been... Nagogo did really great. And there's there's already a problem with that. So... We do not want to play our captain. Is this how it goes down? I mean, he was on a 6.6. .6. I will play him and put Nagogo on the bench. Just like last game. But um, going forward, uh, it's it's Nugongo, by the way, Nugongo. Uh, at some at some point, I will learn. Mm, sorry. Yeah, so I, I really want to play Anderson uh, as a captain. I feel like um, if he develops in a little bit into something, he can can be a vi uh, valuable addition. Um, but uh, this is more of a more of a hope thing. Okay. Anyone else who did well in training? Hargadal, he would have played anyway. Ostrom, apparently. Well, he's not easy to put on the bench, right? So Hargadal and Antenberg maybe, but he's too weak as a keeper right now. And the rest of them didn't do well. Especially not Alp, Ishak and uh, Korovic. They will, they're still adapting to the club though. Is there anybody that's not ready to play the match? No, most of them are. So we might as well go with a with a standard setup here, which means that uh, Korovic will make another appearance, but not as a ball winning midfielder here. So Korovic will always always play Metzala, or if we want to do it in a more defensive uh, fashion, we might use where is he? Basarsson? Yeah. His first name is Marcus. I, serious, uh, seriously, I couldn't remember for a second. Okay. So we might go with Marcus Asarsson at some point. Um, we said Hargadal might play. Yes, this looks good. He is also moderately pacey. And uh, in goal, 6.55. This doesn't warrant an, an appearance. Sederberg 6.4, not much better. But, uh, well, we might as well stick to um, the old one and uh, give him some time on the pitch. Here, so Hellstrom didn't have a bad game. That's okay. 6.94, no use uh, uh, including Baltigrad Blum. Um, he might go for the bench, though. Let's have a look. 6.7 is decent. Wickberg, on the other hand, 6.8. So, it's Wickberg, apparently. And for the def defensive side on the left, well, that's Alp. I don't want to rely on Stolt anymore. So there's that. Muteba will uh, make an appearance here. I think he didn't have a great game last time, though. Alright, six point seven. This is not wonderful, but uh, maybe going forward he can make up, uh, make good on some of it. I don't play defense. This is uh, this is the positive formation. We will go with the overlapping and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. We will also need to commit to going, uh, going forward, to some degree. Because um, if, if they park the bus like uh, the, like it looks, um, then we need to. So uh, now we have the choice between uh, Warwick and Talander. Well, I think we will go with Talander. Just because uh, he's the senior member in the squad. And that's about it. Warwick hasn't shown anything just yet that warrants an appearance here. Not to say that he he can't, but... Uh... Yeah, of course. We will change the defensive if it's necessary. Why not? We want to win the game. 
So if we are up two goals and uh, they start to, to push men forward, um, we might as well go for defensive. Last game we didn't uh, give away many chances playing defensive, so that certainly worked. I'm not inclined to, to rely on it throughout the entire game, but in case something happens, uh, maybe we'll do. Okay, who do we put on the bench here? Well, Vovic didn't have a, have a good game, but uh, he's still a, a rather flexible option. Kulovic isn't. That's the thing. We might go with Puge. He did have a bad game though. But he's the one to develop. Problem is I, I don't see him uh, sticking with the club anyway. But uh, we might as well develop him while we can. So put him on the bench. And uh, Warwick. Now I would like to have Orberg on the bench but there's just no space for him. It's not Orberg. Uh, where is he? Ostrom. This will be confusing going forward. Okay, but uh, yeah, here, I I like um, this this tiny amount of development here, but I'm um, not sure. Also, this is a former model citizen that uh, lost some of his, I don't know what he lost. I think ambition or something. And uh, now he's uh, just a light-hearted player. The match was postponed. Great. So now we will play Hammerby. Still thinking about uh, going positive with a postponed match? Post postponed? I have to look into this, maybe I pronounced it wrong. That means we do not need a recovery though, right? That means... Media prediction? I don't know. Let me have a look. A solid 14th place. So we are expected to go down. Definitely. And for some reason, Gefle are expected to go up. Remember them from last season? They didn't. Ha ha ha. Yeah, well, we sold out on, on all of the quality in the squad. I mean, not all of it, but... Uh, and, and we signed some quality, but overall, this is really trashy going forward. Anyway, so we don't need recovery. That's for sure. What we need, though, against, uh, against the others is... Uh, Good defending. And um, against Hammerby I feel like... Um, <laughs> yeah, That guy must be really bad at football manager, right? I'm inclined to go with attacking movement then. Let's uh, give them uh, the odd goal. Maybe even on the counter. Don't know yet. We'll see. Okay, but um, so this means that we will uh, we will go for Hammerby, and uh, this is the B team of uh, of a big club, so always up for some surprises. But the lineup might change though in in this situation. Um, it worked well last time, to be fair. It really did. And uh, I'm just gonna check set pieces here again. Uh, free kicks, it was, there was an error here. No, not with this one, this is fine. Yeah, this looks good. And then positive formation. This looks good too. Okay, so we, we corrected it everywhere. <laughs> Die in beauty. Dying in beauty doesn't uh, promote us. Dying in beauty doesn't uh, win the fans over. Not conceding goals does. He broke his ribs immediately. 
Seriously. Well, we signed him for 6 euros a week, he's at FC Goody for 6 euros a week, and apparently he broke his ribs in the second game. Or even in the first. That's off to a good start, mister. Great. <laughs> yeah, now we're sitting in 13th spot, but we got a game in hand against the mill. So, when nobody uh, won two games. 34 points to go. <laughs> uh, seriously, not getting relegated and another, uh, another good run in the cup is all I'm praying for at this point. But uh, maybe I'm too pessimistic. But you know that by now. So... Just imagine us drawing another second league team and getting another 40k in. Or maybe even uh, sell Puget at some point. Burke's process. Okay. There's no change in personality apparently. That's bad. They all left. This is wonderful. Marcus Gustafsson is now a homegrown. That's, uh, well, now you only have to make up for your good potential. Which you might or might not have. But uh, there's there's a bit of pace lacking here. Let's wait and see uh, where he develops. Hellstrom apparently is not a home... No, he's a homegrown. Is there another Hellstrom? No, it's him. So he's homegrown too. Well, I don't get it. Doesn't matter much though. So we will need to play Hammarby, who are seventh in the league right now. Not that it matters much. This gives us time to be extra prepared. We're trying to um, use this time for a bit of development though so extra preparation for with attacking movement and overall training in the hopes that uh, some attributes improve we played a few players after all so some of them got some early match experience under their belt belts in that sense yeah this is whatever we will we will play them another way anyway. Let's have a look. This is this is really a wonderful name. I very much enjoy this. I will not try to pronounce this. So ever yeah, I will recall this correctly. They play a four two three one. Always dangerous to face that kind of stuff. But at least they might come into the match a bit uh, tired. So... Us being 100% fit at this point... Might be good. So that implies that we could go for a more physical approach. He got match fed really fast. Well, he's not used to playing anything in this role. Um, he's worse. No. No. There, there was like three or four players that uh, improved overall. But this looked like natural progression to me. Not specifically the fitness training, no. I don't think so. And um, neither the, the, the others. Um, the only effect that I witnessed was uh, team cohesion. That improved. It was uh, below, mi uh, below middle. Uh, so the text was yellower at some point. And uh, that improved quite decently. Well, you'll see. By, by a degree. And uh, tactical familiarity improved. So there's that. 
But for so for next preseason, we will go uh, all out on dynamics and tactics, because I just can't see an effect on uh, on the on the attribute side, um, the way it is handled at Football Manager. I'm sorry to report this. Um, this might also be down to um, to the bad training facilities, though, right? So maybe um, or the bad the bad training uh, coaches. Um, it just might be that uh, we do not have the personnel that's capable to to yield something here. Do we want to go with for sell in this situation? I mean, why not? As a ball win midfielder, definitely, Mister. Where is he, Marcus Esserson? It's weird that he does that he doesn't remember how to play this though. Well, the overall um I'm with the overall training I'm not sure if I agree. Because um so usually I, I like the overall training because really at, at this point in, with this kind of setup you take what you can get right so um, any minor improvement in any attribute is a plus so um, yeah getting rid of some really bad weaknesses due to overall training is fine with me and uh, if they improve in uh, something specifically well great too so for example Tilander improved in his acceleration and pace but it was always part of overall training uh, it's not like we trained him sp specifically on it um, well, on his, in his role, but not uh, beyond that. So and that works. In preseason, though, I these days I tend to the opposite. Um, so whilst I agree that uh, fitness training is uh, borderline useless at this point, um, just because it doesn't matter uh, throughout the entire season, and we never had a problem with players getting traded and so on um, for I don't know. I guess for, for the reason that uh, we don't play them once uh, match load is heavy, right? We just give them a rest. But um, I do think uh, going overall um, overall is the better approach. But uh, <laughs> in preseason, it's not worth it. So dynamics and tactics all the way. Because that's, that has a lasting effect, at least. I'm not sure if, uh, about the tactics. Um, they didn't improve much. But uh, that might be down to my fiddling. So I'm I'm not aware of that. I would need to rewatch uh, re uh, some of the episodes. And really, um, I have to have to watch my own videos uh, for YouTube already to put timestamps in. So uh, at least if I want to continue doing that. I did this once and this is really annoying for like the free viewers. I, I don't want to do that. But um, on the other hand, um, yeah, I, I don't want to watch uh, entire entire previous streams. This is. I think so. Yes, I think so. In in two senses, though, um, this is probably where the where the mutiny with uh, Bergman um, found its source, as well. So. Yeah, no more pop. I don't know if they call it a pub in uh, in Sweden though, so maybe there's something similar, I guess. Not sure if they are um, fond of beer to the same degree as, uh, well, England or even Germany. I'm culturally uneducated, apparently. So, the fans want us to fix the defensive style's fr frailties pretty quickly. Frailties? What does... Th we, we conceded one goal. Set piece execution is important. And depressing football. Maybe. 
And again with Lilia Dot in this check. Now the thing with Lilia Dot is... Well, he plays it to a degree. Okay. Let's go Let's go with Lilia Dot for this match. How's his training performance been? 6.9. This is not great, but uh, it will do. Also, technically, he can play this more or less. Ishak as a pressing forward will have his problems, but um, the last time he scored that way, so... Now, we need one of the two here. Either Korovic or Melander. Because we need a free kick taker on the, on the pitch. So... Korovic is more or less uh, perfect for this role. His form is horrible, though. That would certainly improve health overall. But I think I, I read something about football fans and uh, drinking beer in the stadium and uh, being around the uh, around the players. Um, well, it's not about the beer though. Um, so watching uh, someone else uh, doing sports improves testosterone for men, if I'm not mistaken. This this sounds like a highly controversial statement, but it's um, the the body. Um, I think. Uh, excretes her uh, test or builds additional testosterone if uh, you are involved in some way of testosterone building activity to a much lesser degree obviously than the players on the pitch but uh, yeah there's that so that's that's the optimal excuse going forward to go into the stadium and drink a beer right gotta build my testosterone With all the jumping and, and, and all the stuff, it's probably uh, well warranted. So it might not be about the watching after all. Talander... Talander didn't train well. Warwick... Did better. The thing with Talander is, he at least knows to a minor degree how to play this position. I don't care. Let's go with the one that trained well. This is... Uh, I, I, I can think of a word for this tactical familiarity. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. Going forward, probably. So, Anderson has been doing fine. There's no reason to exclude the captain right now. Same for Hagedal, and we already had a look into Helmstrom earlier. Not much reason not to do it. Um, we might go with Voltigard Blom, but... Well, 7.05. How's Hellstrom? 7.20. So, this is okay. Also, did he improve his marking? That's probably... Oh! No, well, his marking did improve too. But his heading is 6 now. Was this already 6? You don't want to look at, at a stopper here. Come on. Yeah, so a tiny bit. This, especially the, the bad stuff improves a tiny bit. This is, uh, he's got potential in him. I don't know how much, but he's got potential. Muteba or Alp? Mr. Muteba, I think we already decided that Muteba could play. So it's it's only about Esserson. Now, if we... So that, 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 you, you gotta be strong now, Pavel. So, if we want to go for a more attacking formation, we need multi Ekman as a register. Or we need Melander, one of the two. Melander didn't do well. Ekman trained well, so might as well give him time on the pitch. We can try to use Helberg as a replacement on the on the wing as well as in midfield. So he's got more flexibility than Puget. For that reason, I want to give him uh, some time. Also, Puget didn't play well last match. I don't care about his development in that sense. Um, I want him to play well. And if he doesn't, he doesn't go on the pitch. Uh, pitch. Westberg on the bench. So... Nugongo trained really well, so that definitely warrants a place on the bench at least. 
Um, he's just just got the problem that Anderson is on the on the pitch right now. That said, um, with this kind of setup, he might make him an appearance sooner or later. Um, I also feel like we can uh, press the opponent relentlessly here. We might trigger the press even more often. Not sure if they are capable of doing that. But if we trigger the press even more often, uh, that hopefully that exhausts him even more. Because Hammerby might be a bit tired, right? Okay. And we need a, we need some striker replacement, so this is an easy one. Um, I want to go with Tillander here. Kulovic is not a left for the player in case we need somebody for the wing. Um, even though he trained better than Tillander. We'll go with this. And in defense, I think I already covered that. Um, we'll still go with Alp, and uh, we will still go with Wickberg here. Um, I think Wickberg trained better than Baltigard Blum. Oh, it's a 6.55 now. Where's Baltigard Blum? Never mind. So we will go with the old guy, and Wickberg can rot on the bench, uh, on the in the stands. That's how it works. Train better, make an appearance. Motala is a new one. So Puga apologized and his work rate improved. That's great, I guess. And now we will face Hammarby. So let's go through the tactical meeting. They want us to play balanced and push up higher and blah blah. Analysis of their attacking and defensive performance indicate that although they are extremely shaky in defense, they are good in attack. So we should have an eye in the back, but walk over them in attack, okay? Well, then we will turtle and score the clinical counter. At least that's what I am hoping for right now. Does it work? We'll have to wait and see. So, a position instructions for next match only, obviously. Oh, position instructions. Is there anything we know about them? Yes, they are very good in attack apparently, very fast. Marking him tightly should improve our chances. Okay, we can try that. But he might outrun his marker. And the other tier two here, we don't even know about the about the preferred foot. Yeah, this is bad. So we will need some scouting at some point. The scouts are um, back in place and uh, trying to assess the uh, teams in our league, but. Doesn't look good. We don't know anything about the opposition anymore. Let's go. Hope for the best. Passing to space is a good match for the standard of passing, according to Korovic and Ekman. Well, well, I get that. These two have good passing. <laughs> so, uh, Is this about no pressure? This is an away game, right? This is an away game. Everybody expects us to lose, so we will go with no pressure once more. So Hellstrom feels the pressure lifted, okay. But everyone else didn't feel that pressure to begin with. Last uh, match we witnessed that uh, Anderson was uh, a bit nervous and uh, once we uh, did the no pressure talk everybody else um, felt the pressure lifted too. So in that sense I think uh, a leader can be some sort of uh, 
can offer a perspective into the men uh, mental state of the of the players or of the squad overall. Hopefully, we can uh, work with that going forward. There we go. Welcome to a wonderful drizzle at 10 degrees Celsius against uh, Hammerby. This is off to a great start by Hagedal, but he manages to recover it. Sederberg now with a pass for Hagedal, who goes for the long ball immediately, and this goes down to nothing. Then we face a free kick by Birkren. Oh, there's an interesting uh, variation of uh, a free kick situation. Was well closed down there, or closed down well. Berggren will face another corner. Yes, we'll face another corner. Second of the game. Well defended though. Let's look at the defensive setup. So these are the five men in, in the middle. Just like we configured it. Um, this is for Cell. Arsarsson is a bit more forward. He should try to man mark, apparently. There's Korovic at the edge of the area. And there's the two guys up front that are fastest. So this looks great. Berggren, well defended again, for Sill, and this is a waste of a finish I'd say, given the position and uh, the lack of uh, our defenders. So we were lucky here. Korovic, Arsarsson, Elström. Yeah, this is a boring game for them so far. Elström, Ishak, Liljedal. For Sel. Asarson. He uh, tries to find uh, Malta Eggman's uh, style of play, apparently. Did work, though. We get a corner. And we practiced, though. So let's have a look at the setup here. Kurovic as a corner taker. This is correct. Liljedal here as a dribbling option in case we want to go for short corners at some point. Ishak. Hargedal. That's fine, this is Hellstrom, yes. Warwick at the uh, far post and Forcell lurking here. So, we configured it to be near post corners. He draws out the defender. Clearly dull out there. That didn't uh, get to anything. Well, it was well defended. Well, for, for the throws, same thing. Moteba just threw it in. Here, there's Liljedal. And for sell, and as well, also Ishak, um, apparently, out there to pick it up, go for a pass. This doesn't result in anything this time, but um, you can certainly see how far back they are. And that's uh, bad communication, I feel. So we get another corner. Can you do it? Look how it, how it draws out the defender. And he's picked up, uh, Ishak is picked up by somebody else. Ishak. Well, it might have been a bit more, uh, a bit uh, f more over than I thought. But, uh, well done. Hargidal, Anderson, with the cross for Ishak. With the cross for Ishak. With the cross for Ishak. And that's five points of finishing. Wasn't a bad shot though. He went for the powerful one. Good game so far. No problems. Muteba with a very long ball. That might be offside. Yes. So, so far this looks like a, a well-rounded game, I'd say. Um, <laughs> Sederberg clears the ball. Ishak goes for the duel again. Ishak. Ah. Oh. 
we will see a lot of these chances. So um, split by fight might have a point here, but seriously though, um, he gets he gets into more of these. You you can certainly see it as a pressing forward. He he's got this because um, he's got the strength, he's got the pace, and we have got the last ditch block by Hellstrom. This wasn't uh, well defended by Anderson, I'd say. Same here, face another shot. But overall I feel like the quality of the chances that um, we, we create is good. Berkran with a free kick. Interesting variation for Yeboa. And that's offside. And another duel won by Ishak. That might be offside. Yes. So, um, even though we're playing a defensive style, offside makes an appearance from time to time. This is good. Muteba. This doesn't end up with Lily though. And now we face a cross. Hagelal wins it. Skok with the long ball. With the long ball for Hilyamar. Block tackle. Didn't manage to find it, but uh, it was cleared in the middle of the pitch. This, this guy, he's good. And he outruns uh, Anderson a lot. I feel. Dead or Anderson is uh, definitely out of position, so it must be something. Sederberg with a really long ball. Can Ishak control it? Yes, he can. Lilidal. Lilidal dribbling down the wing. Cuts back inside. Korovic. Goes for the shot immediately. I mean, his long shots of 11 might make an appearance at some point in the season, yes. There's a free kick by Warwick. So, we trained this. Warwick is not a great free kick taker. That, that might be a direct one though, yes? Yeah, this is a direct one. So, you can see that we still have three men in the back here. Um, just because I do not want to concede on the counter. Doesn't matter though. Ball's in. Who cares? First goal for the club and first goal of the season by Harry Warwick. Wonderful. Served on a silver platter and uh, well executed. And now we can uh, park the bus for the remainder of the game. If it uh, stays like this. Perfect. This uh, is how I want to see my away games. At least for the moment. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, we uh, gave away a lot more chances than I wanted. So, no complacency, stressed and anxious. Let's give them some encouraging talk. Where is it? Yeah. So, anyone did really bad or really well? Well, I mean, Warwick did. He scored a free kick. Where is he? But the thing is, 7.4 is um, not that great. With, with an 8 or something, I would probably go for the praise. In this situation, this is fine. Anderson, Warwick. And we're off to a start in the second half. Look at that dribbling. For Cell. Tries to go with, uh, for the long ball for Lilydal. He cannot recover it though. That's well defended by Anderson this time. Hagedal. Wasn't was an easy one though. Ishak wins the header against Forcell. Who goes for another long ball for Korovic? He doesn't have the physical 
doesn't have the physical attributes, so he goes for the long shot. That might have been one, if he scored that one. Berggren. Muteba, well intercepted. Did he though? Can Lilialal run with it? Not fast enough, apparently. Cuts inside, and now there's a boring cross for Korovic. Ishak. Warwick. Was this a shot? <laughs> Try to go for the shot. In that situation. But we do not seem to give away many chances so far. This looks good. Yeah. There's uh, already replacements going on. Hagdal, Asarsson. Hellström. This is one of, was one of the boring throw-ins. Taken uh, by Anderson. None of the uh, throw-in takers on the right side have any skill with it. So we go with the short ones and uh, hope that we retain possession. That's about it. Oh, that's a lapse in defense. Sederberg. Sederberg saves the points. At least for now. Well done, Sederberg. Yeboa with the corner. Yeah, that's well defended by Hagedal this time. Being caught out of position like this, this cannot happen every game. Anderson, well defended. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that free kick and then... They pay us back the same way that we paid them. So maybe the wall's too, too small after all. Well, I might know that guy. Good morning to you, sir. And welcome to the stream. Let me know if you have any questions besides um, why I am not at work. Muteba. A nice pass for Lilidal. Cuts inside here, finds Ishak. He's already tired, yes. Yeah, he is. Korovic. Not going for the long shot this time. Warwick. Warwick with the cross. That might end up as a corner. So, thing is, Ishak's already tired uh, due to <laughs> running after opponent's defenders for 70 minutes. But um, I'm not sure if we've got a viable replacement on the bench. Now only if Kulafoc would sit there. Maybe the corner will result in something though. Korovic with the corner. Thanks for the follow. And that doesn't end up anywhere. And thank you very much for following. Diljedal. Not a penalty. So let's have a look into this. Their squad is really tired in defense especially on the left side so this means that we would need to strengthen our right can we do that sure but um i feel we can especially um, make this substitution we can go with Tilander forward he's not uh, he's not the target man that we are used to but there's no instructions to cross target man anyway in this formation if i'm not mistaken Yes, so um, they will they will cross every, uh, everywhere anyway, and uh, he's definitely the most pacey option we got on the bench. So let's go with that. Is there anyone else that's really tired? Yes, Hargidal. I hate to do this, but Boldegard Blom is the is not tired yet. So um, even though he's really slow, this is dangerous. He's really slow, but I feel his uh, his positioning at this point might be better. So let's hope that he can do it. Also, Bolt Girl Blum is always uh, uh, there for the odd goal after a corner. So there's that. Anderson, well intercepted by the new guy. For Warwick. Hagedal. 
Asserson with the long ball for Korovic. Retains possession, even though he lost out on the duel. Warwick back to Hagedal. And this is a typical Hagedal ball for Ishak. Five points of finishing, second goal in the second game. <laughs> this is how it goes down. This is all due to Split Biff saying that we ne he needs 30 goals. He's really trying. <laughs> yeah, he might score them after all. Anybody remembers this guy named Al Holmstrom? I certainly forgot him. In all seriousness, I don't expect him to score 30 goals, but if you can, uh, if you can create these chances like this, this is uh, wonderful. Ishak Golski, yeah, maybe. With five, uh, well, um, there, there's a, you, you missed that one. Um, so there was a was a debate um, about uh, what a good striker constitutes of. And um, you, you know that by now, probably. Um, well, you might uh, remember from our playing times together. That um, I like to go for um, midfielders that score. And uh, a strong or technically gifted uh, striker that uh, is more of a creative option. In... Uh, oh no! What the actual... Whose fault was that? Bodyguard Blums, was it? You cannot see it here. Well, okay, it's not Bodyguard Blums' fault, it's Muteba's fault. But <laughs> he can go off immediately. Goodbye, Muteba. Uh, yeah, so our striker has finishing five because we cannot afford anything else. And uh, the previous striker was really good, but... um. There you go, Muteba. That's that's now Alpus back on on the pitch, and I feel we can also give Helberg a few minutes um, for for sale. Yeah, so now they can try to score the winning goal. <laughs> we conceded two goals, and what horrible ways to concede they were. I mean, the free kick I can deal with, but this this error in concentration in defense is really stupid, isn't it? <sighs> Let's see if Sederberg can create something with a long ball here. Well, Telando's not the one to go for the header there. Let's, let's have a look into Walter's distribution, by the way. He's... This is the wrong sample of instructions. Where is it here? Yeah, he goes for the target man, so this is bad at this point. We'll distribute to the flanks, because, uh, well, the target man uh, is Tillander. Tillander is not a target man. We do not want to do that. He loses out on, well, <laughs> I feel like 90% of the headers. He's fast, that's it. Don't... Don't do it! Really. Not a free kick. Taken by Yeboa, well intercepted by Telander. Which is... Well, okay, this is, this is fine. In a, in a manner of speaking. Berisha again. And sent. What about this Berisha guy? This is Adrian Berisha, 27 years old. I'm not sure if he's affiliated in any way to uh, to another Berisha. That's in the back of my mind. Lil Yudal lost it. We really lose possession too, too much now. Brunner, Berisha again, Anderson. Decent interception. And Sederberg saves the day. Just imagine Sederberg uh, wasn't in goal. We would have lost that game by four goals by now. So, anyone that's really tired... 
Eggman looks motivated. So let's give Eggman at least 5 minutes on the pitch. Uh, as a replacement for Korovich is not his core precision, but um, at least I want to see that result through. Alp with the throw to Lander. Alp with the cross. Well, that's one for Warwick that he cannot reach. Wins the ball though. Asserson. A lop. Uh, Korovich is not the one to go for these. And that's a throw. Malta Ekman comes on. Apparently, we gave away that situation with the throw. And Berisha tries to outrun both Gordblom. But he intercepted that one well. Long ball for Talander. <laughs> Look at that effort of a header. Uh, nah, he's not the one for this position. Going forward. Warwick, Ekman, Talander. Warwick, Ekman. That's too easy. Bulldogard Blom again. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go for, for the positive formation here. That should have been offside. Yes, it was. Come on, guys. You can do better. Sederberg. With a very long ball. Bulldogard Blom. There's uh, Helberg there. Who at least tried to defend it. He looks motivated. Long ball. Finds Berisha again. Yeah. That's freak. Yeah, it's a free kick. Was offside. So overall, um, after this game, we can uh, certainly be happy with a point I fail. What a cross for Tillander. And that's 10 points of finishing, but he didn't manage to get it in the back of the net. Why, Tillander? Why? This would have been the perfect opportunity to gut the opposition. Also, really, really great cross by Anderson, by the way. Tillander. Ah. It's the end of the game. <sighs> The chances were there. Also, we gave away enough chances to lose this game. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy with the second half performance. Yeah, well, in the end, nobody gave us a chance. That's true. So... To come away with a point. No, two games into the, <laughs> into the season we're sitting at two points. That's not uh, really great, but uh, we played two away games. So, I don't know. I'm not happy with it. Vazalons is on top spot again. Followed by Luleo. Wow. Didn't expect that. And a good morning to you, Comquad. Welcome back. We just won another point, or maybe we lost two, I'm not sure. Against Hammerbido, so um, this is... I feel this is decent. <laughs> what is it always with the promotions? No, we didn't. We finished third and then we then we sold out. We sold everybody that was unhappy, which means that everyone that was remotely capable in our squad is gone. Okay? This is this is what happened. But we've got the money in the bank now. So we we invested some of it in young guys. So this this Norwegian winger you might remember, Puget, he didn't want to leave for sixteen thousand euros. He couldn't agree on a deal with them due to, I don't know, wages or stuff. And uh, now we extended his contract. He's paid 15 euros per week now. 
<laughs> I have no idea what happened there, but uh, I'm certainly missing the, uh, missing the 16k now. I would have preferred those to the young player. Uh, okay, so what about Anton Ishak's performance? Well, he scored a goal. He should have scored a second though, but... Um, Yeah, it was a nice free kick. So this is a great press conference because they don't bother us all too much. Score the goal, house his morale. Uh, okay. So let's praise his morale for scoring. And Lulio. Well, over two seasons. Are unbeaten for ten games. I feel like we had a run like this previously. So Kumquat, in, in case you're interested in anything, uh, there was uh, there was a mutiny, um, there might have been uh, snowball fights, um, we replaced some of the squad members, just let me know if you're interested in, in anything. We also did set pieces last session on, on a Sunday, so um, that was a lot of work. Um, to, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure which of the uh, two was worse. Doing the set pieces for two hours on stream, whilst, uh, well, I certainly feel like it was uh, suffering, because you gotta do it for every set piece on its own and then uh, for every mentality on its own once more, in every tactic. Or doing the, the timestamps afterwards for YouTube for every set piece for every variation, because that forced me to <laughs> watch it once more. So in that sense, uh, yeah. Yesterday's session was really fun. Okay. Yeah, we gotta win this, right? This is one of these matches we gotta win. So where did you come from? Oh, they played. They played the south so far. This might have. Did, so I don't know this club. I don't think we ever played them. Is there some some history? Not sure. I don't think we ever played them. Apparently they, they want promotion from time to time, okay. But um, I, I don't think we ever played them and uh, this is a home game, so we will need to win this. And now we got a problem, because... Well, we will need to go with recovery here, at least to a degree. And also we can see too many goals. Three goals in two matches, that's too much. It doesn't work out that way. We cannot do that. So I'll try to go with defensive shape here. Hopefully that helps a little bit. And we will need to go with recovery here. Because um, we might need some of the players to just play. And this I will drop. We'll need to revamp the squad going forward um, for, for the next match. Maybe also rotate central defenders because uh, there was a there was some bad defensive performances in there. Um, it might even be that Boltegold Blom is the better choice, even though he's really slow, but um, he doesn't have these lapses in concentration all the time. <laughs> you might argue he gets overrun <laughs> instead, so <laughs> not sure if that's better. This is horrible. Gefle immediately. Well, it's also a home game, but why Gefle? Of all the opponents we could face, it must be Gefle. So, what's match preparation? Yeah, this looks good. Um, maybe we don't go with the defensive defensive shape after all, because we still have match preparation going on for that. 
So let's go with attacking free kicks here. I'm not sure if we can do attacking corners afterwards. But yeah, this is for the next match. So um, attacking free kicks in addition to that should be fine. We still need the recovery though. We want them to develop, so let's go for the schedule. Yeah, he broke his ribs. And what about Bengtson? Didn't develop much, doesn't matter to me. I do not want to go into a meeting, thank you very much. Give me a summary to inbox. This could have been an email. Also, there's, there's a preference down there. I can, I can probably disable this altogether. Going forward. Okay. So, I don't feel like there's any critique about Satterberg's performance to be had. To be perfectly honest, the problem is he still conceded two. Yes, he saved three, but... Well, we gotta be critical at some point, right? Might as well start doing it now. Yeah. He doesn't agree in entirety, but... Um, I expect more of our keeper. Now, next game going forward, this will probably be multi Eggman time. He trained well, he wants to be on the pitch. Okay. By the way, training wise, Hellstrom does. He, he does really good. That's good. So that settles it. No ball to go, Brom. He does well too. But Hellstrom's training has been wonderful. This is what I expected of the 19 year old. This looks great. Now he only has to... Well, <laughs> the rest of it is decent at this point. He he might need the odd point in composure, sure. And maybe anticipation. But that will develop over time. He really just needs the, the technicals. This, uh, I, I can deal with the, with the tackling. But marking and heading, these are not good enough. This doesn't work out. Um, still, um, he will make an appearance. Yes. That's okay. Our captain didn't w do well so far. So, um, even though I'll give him the odd game going forward, I think this is uh, Ngongo time. He's not a great crosser, though. Oh, he is. His crossing is good. The rest is... Yeah, he he's overall lacking in mentals, first and foremost. Not determination, that's great. Work rate is okay too, which uh, goes well with his physicals. So hopefully he can uh, outrun most of this stuff. But um, given his uh, his sample of physical attributes, his overlaps will be dangerous. And the one in front of him will either be Talando or Warwick. So we might as well have a look into these separately. 6.85 this week. 7.0. He's the better corner taker too. And a better free kick taker. So apparently we got a, an English player in the squad all of a sudden. That plays more rather than less. Didn't expect that. Talana from the bench is probably a viable option though. Let's see if Wobbe can, uh, can bring it to the pitch. So what's left? Well... Horse for sale. Fit. Match fit. Barely, but he's match fit. Do we play him? 7.05 is decent. Look at that passing last match. Wow. Two bl misplaced passes. He should probably learn to be a playmaker at this point. 
Okay, left wing. Well, Muteba had a horrible mistake last game. That cost us two points. Ten interceptions, though. Overall, this looks great. Doesn't it? Eight interceptions this game, ten interceptions this game. It's just about the damn mistake. Well, also about the lack of creativity. Might as well tell him. Do we give? Do we want to give Alp an entire game? Well, he improved in training a, a tiny bit, but that's not good enough. Also, we signed him as an emergency backup. We will not. He will not complain, right? Yeah, he will not complain. So, um, at least he shouldn't. He might complain, but uh, then he can. I don't know. He can look for another club if he starts complaining. Okay, so central defenders, who do we have here? Hargedal. Hargedal had an error in, in, in defense too. He had an assist though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was one of the Hargedal long balls probably. So... In previous in the air as always. What about Wickburg's training? No. So Hargedal it is. I might regret that. But Hargedal it is. Asarsson played a lot the last two games. Korovic did too though. He had a bad game apparently. 6.5. No tackles. Great heading. Defensively he was lacking. Probably. Yeah, but we warn him about the lack of chances created, even though it's not uh, his major role. So, do we want to give Korovic another game? Sure, why not? Why not? He will also be instructed to shoot more often. Where is it? Here. And uh, we need him to cross towards the target forward. Same for Forcell. We did a lot there. That's kind of weird, but... Uh, we still play with a target forward, right? Yeah. Might not, be, might not be Ishak, though. Ishak for the bench, Kulovic for the pitch. This might not go down well. Does he deserve it? Well, he's trying. All right, let's give him. Let's give him a game. He's trying. And I feel we are very happy with Setterberg, despite uh, the three goals conceded. Left wing, Lilian made an appearance, didn't do well, but this is more in in line of uh, with his capabilities anyway. By the way, Haskellumo. Just just for funsies. He trains well. We might give him an appearance at some point in the season, yes. Westberg is a no-brainer, so here we got a chance between our club captain and Moraira da Silva. So... Anderson did improve him training though. He was on the 7.0 rating last match, I didn't even see that. Free keeper, this is, this is not a bad performance. So even though uh, the young guy deserves an appearance, this is not a bad performance. I cannot, um, or I do not want to take him off. Boltegard Blom is a no-brainer given that Wigberg didn't train well and Alp is the emergency back up there. How did Stolt do? Not good enough. Doesn't matter, he will not make an appearance. So we're expected to control this game, we're expected to win it. And I do not expect us to go into park the bus formation all of a sudden. Arsason did train really well, so he will go on the p uh, pitch. And then we need a flexible option. So in case we need a ball-winning midfielder, somebody needs to be able to play this. Oh, yeah, Arsason does. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, so it's the other way around. We got a defensive midfielder on the bench. Um, Arsason did play well, he did train well. 
Oh, he didn't play well, but he trained well. So um, he can he can come on the pitch. Um, yeah, I, I got confused between uh, Melander and Assassin. So it's either Helberg or Melander. Helberg didn't train well. Melander did a bit better. Auberg is still around the squad. Didn't do well in training. So it might even be Austrim going forward. But he didn't do well either. It's a wash. Who do we want to put on the bench? Probably a right-footed player, so that would mean Melander or Helberg. Let's go with him. So this this is not an option for, for a counterformation, but um he might do. And um he's he's war one of the um, more senior members of the squad. So maybe he can get some routine into a play. Less errors. I'm happy that uh, that Anderson on the on the right wing back position um, had a seven point zero rating though. That looks decent. Okay, do these two accepted their warnings? Um, he didn't improve much, and this is a lot to go through. Do we do it? Okay, let's do it. So Malta Ekman. Improvement is uh, recommended with attacking movement. Well, same argument could be made about vision and teamwork. But he's been doing the killer balls. I don't want to uh, force him into um, individual training just yet. Marcus Gustafsson. That's a young player. He doesn't train a specific training. They want him to do final fair training. Fine, do it. Until he starts complaining again. Anton Anderson. This is one of the young uh, youth players despite his name. He should improve his shooting. I think he should improve overall. And uh, giving him the additional training uh, workload will not help. Nila Fossil <laughs> should take penalties. I don't think so. We've got ten penalty takers. Um, we selected them. Let's have a look into it. I think there's enough penalty takers in there. That are better penalty takers. Harry Warwick. Oh no. Melander. Here we go. So. Melander shouldn't take free kicks apparently. I feel he should. This is not great. But um, I will not go for an additional point in free kick taking. If it's on the wrong foot. For some of these things. Moreira da Silva. Defensive positioning is no longer a weakness. I disagree. But he improved it a tiny bit. So that's great for him. If he ever makes it to the pitch, that is. Lilydal. Cuts inside from left wing. Yes, I feel like this is a great trade to possess. The thing is, I don't want to add the workload. So, no. Melander. Same with the free kick taking here. Ostrom needs match experience as a striker to become a natural. Sure. Okay. Melanda will not develop beyond accomplished in his position as a regista. I feel like this is the only way for him to, to play in the squad. So we'll keep it at that. And he needs to develop... Uh, he needs match experience too. But um, I feel like this is still the, the right training for him. Doesn't matter if he invests some of it in uh, in positional training. I'd like to keep him like that. Maybe he can get some match experience appearance going forward. Oh no! So they want us to um, put Nugongo out of the professional unit and into the perfectionist unit. Um, I don't think so. Cause we where is it? Mentoring. Um, we have two setups here. And if we put Nagongo up here, um, well, the Hilberg and Melander group will need somebody else to mentor. Oh, he doesn't have he doesn't have an effect anymore. Why? That's not good. Can we? Hmm. 
They also have decent traits for this. Puga can have that trait too though. If we switch, doesn't work that way. So if we put Puget out of that group, put Puget in this group, this is still fine. Now there's an average influence on Puget. These two are, um, well, they might develop uh, the moves ball to right foot before dribble attempt. This is okay for Puget. And uh, we can put Ngongo up here now. Just, well, he's got the trait too. In fact, he's he's wrong here. Ostrom. I don't want on Anton Berg to develop this trait. So Ostrom can go down here. Yeah, that's better. So um, maybe this this improved professionalism overall. Not sure. When in Ostrom's case, his professionalism can't be, have been that bad because he's a former model citizen. But um, these two will do with it. And uh, well, Nugongo still has no influence whatsoever from anyone here. I don't know why. Is he considered to be too good skill-wise? That might be a problem. So, yeah, that might be it. That he's considered to be too good. So now we gotta talk to the team, and then we gotta do another match. And hopefully, as this is a home game against, an, hopefully, an, an opponent that's uh, at least on our level, or even a bit inferior. Hopefully we can get a home win. Ericsson, he's turned 17 today. He's a driven guy. Also fairly suspicious to injury. I don't think I want him uh, him to be on a contract though. Like the youth contract still runs till twenty twenty nine, so this is another two and a half years at least. And I don't feel he's he's worth it right now, especially not. Um, yeah, he's got high suspicion to injury. He will not make it in professional football. I don't feel like he will, even even if he goes through the roof, which he doesn't. So, in fact, I mean, he's driven, but in fact, uh, I would probably want him to go out and loan somebody else to pay for him, and uh, that's it. Maybe we can uh, offer him for loan. Playing time doesn't matter to me. Just play him somewhere, give him some match experience. Hopefully he doesn't uh, hurt himself, and then he can go. This is probably the best expectation-wise that we will have. So we never played these. They want to see effective set-piece execution. Yes, I, I do too. Desperate to see August Tillando and his Baron run in front of the goal. Uh, well. Gaspar Burnson apparently is good enough to play for us. Yes, well, yes. With that acceleration he is, but we've got so many players on the right wing back position now. Um, we gotta make a decision here from time to time. So this is why he's out on loan. Um, also, um, he's a new guy. So, um... He can play in uh, another club in Sweden, and we will see where it goes. We don't get any home games. Because apparently there's a waterlogged pitch at Svetjevallen. 
so it has been postponed again. Well, it's the second time this season. Can somebody please install a drainage? What, we cannot afford that? Okay. So much for the great preparation. We even did a recovery session. I hate this. Okay, so um, we will have to play Gefle. Next. Teamwork still on. So no use doing this. Defensive positioning is still on. Attacking movement is still on. Cor attacking corners is still on. Attacking free kicks is on. This might get a bit shaky. Uh, so what do we need? Nothing apparently. Well, set pieces we can... Either we can defend corners or free kicks. Let's defend corners. We always face corners and I really don't want to go for, for penalty taking. We can, we can go for set piece taking. This is in line with... Um, the, so, n not defending uh, stuff, but this is in line with uh, with the expectants, with the expected things. Um, expectations of the board and the supporters. There we go. So, things changed around here. Great. Really great. This is afterwards, apparently, where... Uh, where is it? This is the latest score. Well, scroll on, football manager. I'm not too concerned with this. So now we're getting relegated all of a sudden. But um, we've got <laughs> we've got two games in hand um, compared to most of everybody else. So uh, yeah. Eric Hagedal wants a new contract. He's on six euros per week. Do we want to keep Hagidal? He's 24 now. We might need to sell him at some point. And he didn't develop into the player health stream will be. Let's put it that way. So we can deal with Wickberg for Hagidal. And in in case we, we don't get a new deal. Okay. Let's let's uh, sort this first. So first and foremost, let's try this. Yeah, he's unhappy to resolve this, so I gotta deal with him myself. Never mind. So we postponed that issue for a second, but going forward, we will uh, we will have to deal with Hagidal and his new contract at some point. And he will want to increase in earnings by a lot. The money he earns right now is not appropriate for the amount of playing time he gets. On the other hand, uh, the money he earns right now is rather appropriate for the skill level he has. So um, we need a replacement there. Let's lo le have a look into the youth squad. And so I realize that there is no central defender out on loan. Um, No one wants Robin Eriksson on loan. That's, uh, I'm sad to see this. What's the other flag here? Oh, he's a youth player, yeah, sure. So let's not offer him out on loan. It might deduct uh, from his uh, effort in training. Larson. He's unhappy with the high amount of extra training has been asked to. Well, then do not do final third training and... Uh, Leave me alone. Get better. Ostrom is more suited for U19 football. I'm sorry to say this, but I somewhat agree. He might make it, uh, might go down. Dobrev is a high potential player, apparently. Well, he didn't show any of that potential with us. Is he still with us? He's still with us. Can we, can we sell him? I really want to get rid of Dobrev.
just give me 2.5k for him or something and uh, we will we will make do. Let's go with 3k. Maybe the Learning Club accepts it. I don't think so, but uh, maybe they do. Hugo Verulin. We signed him to make a deal. To be perfectly honest. He's on a steal of a contract. We can extend it by another year. Yeah, he recently signed, so no use in selling him just yet. And uh, Anderson. Johan Anderson apparently can become much better than Kalili. Well, that's great to hear. But he has a lot of positional training to do going forward. Okay. Got this. They do not want to make an offer for Dobrev at this time. Is he still transfer listed or did I transfer list him just now? Well, I think he's still transfer listed. We wanted to get rid of him at the start of the season. Auberg is wanted for loan. He might make the odd appearance as a as a replacement for a Metzala. So I'm not gonna loan him out or sell him just yet. But he's definitely back up at this point. Like serious emergency backup. Yeah. With Kulafic as a striker. I'm not sure if we will make it. How's tactical familiarity for... Yeah, so... Um, in this case, Warwick can go to the bench, I think. Ngongo. To play Ngongo against the big guys. I don't know. I think was it was it Nagongo that had uh, decent long throws though, or was it Muteba? One of them had uh, had long throws ten, so um, that's better for set pieces at least. Even though they will take the short throw anyway. Two missed matches due to a uh, waterlock pitch. This is how you get relegated all of a sudden. At least uh, the pressure's on us now. <laughs> that form. Well, two draws. We do not need a director of football. Head of youth development is interesting. He is wage expectancy. He's are way too high. He's a mercenary. And he's a goalkeeping coach. That looks rather decent, and for this reason we cannot afford him. So, we'll keep it as it is. Our goalkeeping coaching is really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. We explicitly signed a really bad coach because we could afford him. So, yeah. That physical training was recovery, by the way. Nongongo did well in training, he will make an appearance. Warwick didn't, so he will not. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm contemplating getting uh, rid of him on the bench. If, if this is the way he goes about training. Do we have a left footer player? Everyone's right-footed here except for Stolt. I will not put Stolt on the bench, so... Uh... Might as well go with Ishak. And in that case, Ishak can also play. Because, really, um, yeah, we can we can give Kulovic the odd minute. But I'd rather go with someone who's match fit. With, with the right defender, I'm willing to make the substitution at some point. And he really, he has a lot of physical capabilities. By the way, let's look into the long throws issue. Yes, he's, he's the one with long throws 10. For him, we, I could actually, uh, well, 
we could do with a tactic that um, uses uh, longer long throws. But... So, two hours, five minutes into the game, we will make it against Gefle into the session. Well, everybody expects us to get defeated. So do I. But on the other hand, this is a home game, so we will go with a positive um, mentality, despite us uh, probably getting hammered here. Let's do this, but let's talk to the players first. Um, we might uh, be able to give them some feedback on last match. So he conceded two, I think we already talked about it uh, to him. 6.45, this is not good enough training. So to me this is a point to criticize him here. Nugongo trained really well, we already uh, commented on that, he didn't play. Not much to do here. We can praise his conduct, but uh, it's no use. Hagelot's conduct has been fine recently. This training too. This is good. I like that. So the match experience might pay off after all, but um, overall we need to better. We need a better defender in this position. And given that he's 24, he will not develop into the one. Also, he wants a new contract, still. So we might need to give him one at some point. Hellstrom. That's what I was hoping for. 6.7 rating, not so much. His tackling was 100% on point though, so let's praise him for that. Spot on it was, that's it. Muteba. What about Muteba? Creativity lacking again. Can't tell him, we already did. Training performance was decent and I don't want to comment, uh, comment on conduct every week. Malte Ekman. I think his training has been good recently, this week not so much. He didn't play. He did play three passes last game and uh, managed to finish three. So uh, yeah, his choice of pass was sensational. Thank you very much, Malte, for three passes. Korovic, he played most of last uh, last match. His tackling was great, hundred percent. Can we? Yes, we can. But um. Chances created. This is not good enough for Metzala. So I realized that um he's he's not a primary creator of the of the squad, but um I, well to a degree we really miss Oliver Swan, right? It's just how it is. By the way, how's been how's he's been he's been doing? Was it with an H? Yeah, it was with an, with an H. Oh yeah, he's at Gulde. I remember that. Hmm. On a 15 euro per week contract. Well, he will not come back anyway, but it's really unnerving. Tillander, 6.2 training rating. Really, Tillander? Really? Horses from 6.5 last game. Didn't create any chances. Oh, he played as a striker. Yeah, he had one chance. And his heading was really bad. 
by the way. But uh, that's for us. Uh, that's that's on us playing him as a striker. For Cell, did like for Cell does. Really decent passing. A lack of chances created though. We need more chances created. And training wise, no use in commenting on that. Lil Yadal. I feel like Lil Yadal doesn't do well recently. That's certainly true for the last two games. The, the other ones were um, preseason games, doesn't count. On a 7.2 rating, yes, his training has been decent. So I'm not sure if we will accept that though. Yeah, he's not sure. He's a fairly pro. 7.2 is average for him. Yeah, he accepts a praise of conduct. So this is okay. And we can also criticize the last... Did we praise the last game for something? We didn't. So his tackling was great last game. That we can do, and now we can criticize him for the lack of chances created, because he really didn't create any. Alright, here we go, this is better. Ishak, well, you could improve your finishing at, at one point, sir, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to. His headers have been wonderful, he led the line really great. Doesn't matter, we already commented on a hint. Training performance hasn't been good. Let's tell him. Okay. So apparently we criticized this uh, too much. Well, once a week I don't think is too much. But sure. Despite the tar hard tackling, by the way, um, we didn't get that many yellow cards so far. This is one of the one of the reasons why we have the odd player um, in, in addition to to the rest on a cheap contract, so we can rotate them in uh, in in case of a uh, yellow card ban. But um, in the last two games, there wasn't many yellow cards. I'm not sure if we received one at all. Maybe maybe in the first game. Why in Gongo? Why? So now his attributes uh, got reduced. He will still he will still make it. He will make the match. Oh, or the match squad at least. Um, but I will play him in that match. Against Be Gefle. Yes, I wanna go there. Oh, 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 oh. That was one too many. Opposition instructions. Is there something we know about the opposition? Yes, they are fast. Yes, they are dangerous. So he's a right footed player that we can use. Um, also, he's a left footed player. So uh, we might get some information of them after all. Or only scout is hard at work. He's right footed, but I don't want to show him on the left one. And we have no idea about the rest, more or less. So we will not set any opposition instructions. We face a 4-4-2. So overlapping is not necessary. In fact, we will go the other way around. We will try to go with the underlap against the 4-4-2. And hopefully we can... Uh, just push through the middle, really, at this point. They are still instructed to cross for the target forward. That's good. Our target forward is really dangerous, because if he wins a ball, he might run for it. Even. So in that sense... How's distribution? Rolling it out to the playmaker. Yeah, that's still good. That's for Ekman. In case Ekman gets man-marked out of the game, for some reason, which I... Doubt will happen, um, especially against a 4-4-2. Um, we might need to go with a distribution for the target man. So, first home game of the season. 
finally, after the match has uh, been drowned for the last two games. Yeah, I'll I'll try to use the pressure here. On the other hand, um, I think uh, in a home game, usually I would want to in increase the pressure. But um, I seem to remember that some uh, members of our squad didn't uh, profit from that so much, from an increase in pressure. So here we go, here's the game. They will play their best 11 probably, and hopefully they are a bit exhausted. Let's have a look into this immediately. Well, we don't know yet. Okay. We, we might want to wait another few, uh, five minutes with that. This will be confusing. There's a Wickstrom. Not to be confused with a Wick Burke, and he already plays a wonderful ball for Reinholdson. Heldström. Wonderful tackle in the penalty area. Great one. Landgren with a free kick from a wide position for Reinholdson. Well tackled by Muteba. Who is way out of position now. Is this an offside? Yes. We got lucky there. So still don't know about their about their um condition. Let's encourage the squad. Muteba Liljedal. Through the center of the pitch. Oh what a pass. Mr. Liljedal, what a pass. He's got He's so fast in Gongo. And this is defended by Telander. Landgren. Not a bad pass for Bengtsson. Telander intercepts it. Looks like Telander has to do the defending in this game. They will face the first long shot by Andrew. Landgren, another free kick. I feel like we give away a lot of those. Especially out there. That's the second, right? So this would imply that Nagongo... Well, it's an offside, okay. This would imply that Nagongo has problems in defense. Ishak, we can, we can certainly um, not see that just yet, but maybe that's the way it is. Nagongo, Talander... Oh no, he caught him. What's going on? He still runs with the ball though. Wins it back. More by accident really. Talander, Korovic, they're one man down. Ekman, Forsell. Immediately hammers it in. From distance, Nilo Fossil with his long shots of 8 or something. Doesn't matter. The corner of the net. Telander, Korovic, Nagongo, Ekman through the middle of the pitch with the long shot. Not a chance for the keeper. If he hits target, it goes in. That's a great one. I really, I, I really appreciate uh, Nila Fossil scoring at, at this point in time and especially in this situation. This is what routine looks like. Uh, especially, um, this was well played. It, they worked the ball, not in the box, but um, it, it looked like, hand, like handball. Like not touching the, uh, the ball with the hand, but like in handball. They just moved the ball around the pitch. Ekman! They, they moved it uh, from uh, out uh, wide positions into center. Now we face a free kick. Reinholdson with a long shot. And that might end up with Liljedal. Can he keep it? Mm, yes. Finds Telander. Telander. Mm, nice cross for Liljedal. Clearly not offside. And this is not a good shot. So, what's up with Telander anyway? Let's have a look. 
Potential knee injury. Great. Yeah, and there are three players that look ill-disciplined. Wow. Well intercepted by Ishak. Lil Yidal. Can he run for it? Lil Yidal runs past his marker with the cross for Telander. Telander? <laughs> with the header. This is what her knee looks like apparently on Telander. Hellstrom. Hagidal. Long ball. Doesn't manage to find Lil Yidal here. Come on, come on, close him down. Well done by Lelidal. Well done. Muteba. Forcell. Ekman. Can he spot the killer ball? No. Forcell. Nice ball for Nogongo. Will he go forward with it? Finally. No, he cuts inside as instructed. Now they go forward with it. Nogongo doesn't manage to find Ishak. Was offside too, apparently. Yeah, but by Ishak, not by Nagongo. This was well played out on the wing. Two against three. Decent combination. Hellström, well defended. Ekman. Goes with the long pass for Lilydal. That's definitely onside, but Hellström is uh, there to intercept it. Muteba, Forsell. Oh, Forsell. Don't do that. Well tackled by Hagidal, loses the ball though. And that's as well done. He just ran it off. Telander wins the ball in the middle of the pitch or retains possession, however you want to put it. And that's a bad pass. There is a really great opportunity to score on the counter here. There's the cross for Olson. Sederberg's got it. No power behind the header. So far, this has been a fun game to watch. As a manager, I should probably be concerned. Uh, Korovic is on a yellow card, by the way. We should probably instruct him to ease of tackles at this point. It's not his main job after all, but... Um, yeah. So, that means that uh, Melando might make an appearance as a Metzala. Even though he doesn't train for it. Well done. For Sel. For Ishak. Nice Kinder ball. Illidadel is just a tiny bit too slow. He needs to get back into shape. Hagedal. Ekman. Well done. Nogongo. Korovic. Ekman. Forsell. Forsell with another killer ball for Lilidal. This ends up with Muteba though. What can he make of it? Will he cross? Will he go for the cross? We will. And Ishak went into the duel with the keeper. Not a fair one. So the keeper catched it. And that's a long distribution. Well done by Nagongo for against Bankton. Ekman for Cell. For Cell! What a killer ball! Come on! Just a corner. Just a corner. Korovic with the corner. We draw out a marker here. Korovic. That ends up with Johnson. Not a good corner. Should have done better. That's not a new post corner by, by any stretch of the imagination. It ended up in the center of the pe uh, penalty area. Oh, Hellström loses his mark. Also on. Oh. We will have to deal with these going forward. It's another, another one where he just loses his, uh, his striker. Look at this. Just gets over. He's just confused. Gets overrun. It's not like. It's not even like he's out of position that much. He might have jumped. He might have run. But instead, he turned around on the, sp on the spot. To me, it looked like seven times, but it was probably. I don't know. One time. Still. That's enough. One situation like this, and then there's passes like this. Great defending by Muteba here to go for the for the free kick. 
Yeah, it's the much better choice. So if we practice these, we also practice defending these. I cannot believe it. This is what happens if you play uh, Gefle, apparently. Second goal of the game by Olson. And now we gotta climb this. Come on guys, really. You've been the, at least on, on par. This is so stupid. Hagidal with a long ball. Well, Talanda's not the one to go for the long ball at this point. I will also, um, I will redo. No, this is, this is fine. Forget it. I kept thinking we should go with the target man in, in distribution, but uh, we got a playmaker. I forgot that. That was still um, in, in last match, in that sense. Hagidal, Tillander with the ball. Reinholtz on the, gets a yellow. Nedungi Muteba, Liljedal. Muteba, Ekman. Nice ball for Liljedal. It's run off the... So, we get a corner here. Corners are something. Yeah, we did. Korovic. And we improve defense, right? We improve defense. But um, the, the new players are not... Um, oh, Ishak with the shot. Deflects off the defender. He went for a long shot here. But yeah, we've conceded a lot. Three matches, five goals against us. This is too much. Same problem as last season. Korovic. This doesn't end up with one of ours. Tillander with a free kick. Doesn't find Lily though. And it's offside. Come on, guys. You can do better. Ishak. Forsell. Ekman. Korovic. No, I feel bad for Forsell. Bengtsson again. That might be it for him. <laughs> it isn't, though. Not yet. A yellow card for Ekman. Yeah, and a yellow card for Ludin. So, overall, this didn't look bad, specifically. But... They have to do better. Let me put it that way. They have to do better. And I do not want to go over the wings. We, we did create chances. The way we play. We really did. Against a 4-4-2 going by the wings is probably not a good idea. Lilidal. Look at this. But it's it's a it's offside. I thought it was a foul. Korovic. Free kick. Hagdal. Off target. They try to distribute it in a short fashion. Can we prevent short distribution? Well, we might try. But they find Ludin here in midfield. Ludin. So this is for sale. Let's do it like this. He can definitely man mark Ludin. And we can probably tell Korovic to man-mark, well, ac actually, yeah, we can tell him to man-mark his guy, what's he called, Kilgren. But um, we will take Korovic off the pitch anyway. Um, so let him man-mark him. That should do the trick. But uh, Korovic is on a yellow, so I would rather have someone else to man-mark this guy. Um, I think uh, Asafson is on the bench. If I'm not mistaken. Oh no. Reinhold's on. Sederberg's in goal. Yeah, and manages to do his job. The thing here is, um, Korovic doesn't have a good game anyway. 
Now we need somebody to score. Yeah. I'll go with Melander. Here. Same here as a Metzala. I think he has the technicals even though he's not a great finisher. So this this is a uh, similar to Kurovic. And I would like him to man mark Kilgren. He's motivated on his debut, so he's got 40 minutes to change the game. Hopefully he can do that. Sederberg for Cell, Ekman for Cell, Ekman, Korovic, Ngongo tries to find the inward pass. He should have gone with the wing here. For Cell, Korovic, Telander, Telander goes through the inside. And that's runoff. Well done by Talander. Ishak for Cell. Nice killer ball for Ishak. That shouldn't be offside. It isn't. With the cross for Liljedal. Doesn't manage to hit the target. But he managed to win the header. So, I feel like this might have been too much. I'm not sure if we want to... Uh, maybe we want to focus play anyway. But looking for the inside implies that uh, they wait for somebody to make the run. Well, that's offside. Clear as day. Tedando doesn't seem to be that affected by the injury so far. Oh, oh, well pressured. Ishak, Tedando, and then he loses the ball. Oh, that looked good. So Tedando did, didn't cut it so far. The problem is we don't have Warwick on the bench. This is really bad. There's nobody that's left footed. We might go with a traditional winger, but we don't have that on the bench either. Tillander will need to make it through the game. This is really bad. Should have should shouldn't have replaced Warwick. On the bench. Bengtson. Oh, Nugongo. Luckily, that was a bad finish. Could have conceded another one here. Muteba with the throw, Lilydal. Andrew intercepts it. Hansemon, Wikström, Kilgren, Landgren, Hedlund. Do we press high up on the pitch here? Let's push the defensive line a bit higher. We need to go for it anyway. If we concede another game's over, but um, we have 25 minutes to go and we're not creating any. Olson. Another shot. Who's on the bench? Who can help? He's hampered by injury. He's not left footed. He's right footed. There's really nobody capable of playing on the wing. In this formation, right? Well, Melander can do it to a degree. He's not pacey though. Yeah, it doesn't matter much. We need to get uh, we need to get Talander off the pitch. So if Asasan comes in on in this position, I want him to be a ball winning midfielder. On support duty. So he will do less 
um, in the offense. But maybe he can cover a bit more. And now we've got a problem here. So Muteba had a really horrible game so far. Might as well give up the chance. Ngongo is uh, motivated. Pfft. Let's keep the last two. Go out, make it happen. And I will go with a shout of demand more. They will have to get used to this. Face a free kick here. Again for Reinholds on the long one. And the Shark manages to win the ball. Just passes it towards Lulindo. That's a... Uh, a creative way of defending by Alp. Feedback didn't do much. Motivated by the feedback. Well, uh, at least one of them is. Landgren with the corner. Well done with Se uh, for Setterberg. But we don't create that many chances here. So, we might want to look for the overlap after all. Yeah, and I stopped working into... Let's go with this. Let's not do any possession anymore. Or at least reduces a little bit. Still a positive mentality. Corner. Again. Kilgren with the corner. Another one. And I'm not unhappy with that, but the quality of the chances we can we gave away was just too good or too high, how you want to put it. Too grand. Well defended so far. Asarson. That's well intercepted by Ishak. Liljedal. Ngongo. And now the one on the right wing didn't make the run. Alp with the throw. Ishak. Alp again. Alp with the cross. It ends up with Helmstrom. Asasun! Well... He's a defensive player. <laughs> I roofed that one. Melander. With a nice free kick. Liljedal. Hagdal. No. That was an easy one for the keeper. Melander with another one. Back with Forcell. He goes for the long shot. That's another corner. We're piling up the pressure now. Come on. Get it in. That encourages him apparently. Melander. Oh yeah, usually there would be somebody out there. Eggman recollects it. Not a bad pass by Eggman. Hagedal and Alp. Eggman again. Hillstrom <laughs> immediately goes for the shot. He should have gone for the pass here. But we instructed him to shoot on side, so that would have been it. Person for Reinholds on. Hillstrom wins the ball. Is this offside? Looks like it, yes. Okay, we might as well substitute the last two now. So, Ishak is tired. Hargedal and Hellstrom both don't look good. We'll bring on the captain. Maybe he can do something. Yeah, come on, let's pile on the pressure. Hopefully they can do something. Well, first of all, they give away a free kick apparently. Well, 
Olson, Helond, Ludlin. Hansemann, Ludlin again, Drenic, Anderson. It wasn't bad defending, but uh, well, I would have liked to retain possession at this point. He's not close enough to his marker. Kilgren with yet another corner. What's going on here, by the way? Yeah, it's cool Hitch in the middle. That's okay. Kilgren. Well defended so far. What are you doing, Anderson? Yes, you headed it out of the penalty area. Just control it. Reinholzen. With another cross, Olsen, and it's back in. Conceded six goals in three matches. What did we practice all out of uh, all throughout preseason? Can you tell me? We even spent on defenders. Well, okay, we didn't spend much, but we improved him a, a tiny bit. Apparently, a tiny bit isn't enough. For Cell, Ekman. Agidal, Anderson, Assorsen, Ekman again. And there's the long ball for Lilydal, who actually might f end up with the ball in this situation. But it's just a throw in. Alp, Ekman, Alp, Cross, Agidal. This is how we practiced it. Just doesn't end up in, in the back of the net. I'm really annoyed by this. Sure, we can lose against Gefle. But um, to concede three goals again. Really. Ludlin, Olson, Forsell, well tackled. Ekman, Melander, Assasson, Hagedal. Out on the wing now. Anderson. Dribbles around with it and that's it. Hargidal. Long ball. Kulovic is not the one to run for these. Neither is Melander. N maybe. For Sill. Well, that's offside. Um, the problem the problem is um, a going down mentality. Um, we would need to go for balanced at this point. And we need some sort of uh, attacking mentality. I mean, we sure um, we could have uh, we could have started this uh, defensive, right? But for the home games to start with a defensive mentality, maybe maybe it is a failure um, to not adapt to um, the quality of the position. We knew it was Gefle. We knew Gefle nearly went up last season, and we knew that they are a real threat to us. But uh, still, the second half was uh, absolutely devastating. No, I don't think they did themselves proud. I don't like it. Let's be critical when it's on point. So, the next opponent will be Karlstadt. Karlstadt football is exactly the opponent that I want to face uh, next, because this is a really hard one. Yeah, so we're in the relegation zone. Sure, we only played uh, two games, but um, this doesn't look good. Tillander's injured with a bruised knee, that doesn't matter much. Milanda finally makes a debut. Uh, way out of position though.
What do I make of Max Olson's performance? I make of it that we didn't defend well. That's it. I don't know what's about the standard of officiating, really. When steals the show, sure. Dalkurt won 4 0 against Karlstadt football. I hate to play Karlstadt. They were so dangerous every single time we played them. It's an away game. Fine, let's park the bus. Um, Karlstadt football play a formation that I am somewhat familiar with. I think I think they got really pacey uh, wingers at least last time. I checked. Problem is, um, I, I think against against Karlstadt we uh, we conceded like three on the counter or something. Um, last time, I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. I just remember that I hate playing them. And there were always um, one of these opponents that is uh, between the 5th and the 7th spot, so 12th is uh, definitely not up to the standard they were previously. One of these teams that uh, you face, you know you need to win against, um, if you, you want to go for the promotion uh, spot. So you absolutely need to win, and then you go there and then you lose. And you, you won like five games previously and uh, you will win uh, games afterwards. But Karlstadt is always dangerous. It's the same with Vasaluns, by the way. They, they just came around at the wrong time, I feel, every time. So now I... This is purely me um, uh, with, with feelings. So now whenever we face one of the two, um, I feel nervous about it. And we need to do with extra care. Now, the thing is, um, we didn't score after set pieces either. But it didn't look like set pieces were bad, right? We had our chances. So I'm not too sure what to do with this. Let's go through the players here. So set about conceded free. This will not do. This gets an official warning, yes. I will not talk to him right now. Let's do that later on. Nagongo. 6.5. Gets an official warning. Hagedal. 6.4. Gets an official warning. Everybody gets an official warning. Hellstrom. Well, he certainly improved at least. 6.3 gets an official warning. Muteba. That will get him an official warning too. Where is it? In the action speak about? No. I don't know. He might have gotten an official warning last week. Yes, that's it. Cannot warn one two times in the same week. Apparently. He's on a 7.1. He had an assist. So at least it's not down to Malte Ekman's appearance in the squad. You could argue that he didn't defend well. But overall I feel he contributed just fine. Tillander with the injury, well... He even had a 6.8 rating. Yeah. Despite his injury. Korovic, we took him off on a 6.5 I think. Exactly. 12 passes, 12 completed, and absolutely nothing done throughout the entirety of the match. He was marked out of the game, basically. No, no, no. I, I do both. It's, it's just um, that the criti criticizing I will do prior to the next game. So the, the way it works in Football Manager is that um, morale will... Uh, Adapt to, I don't know, some sort of middle ground, right? I'm not sure what the middle ground is, probably due to team cohesion. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how it works. 
but morale will decline. Um, through, well, just with due to the passing of time. And there's three days of time here, so I do not want them in perfect morale right now. I want them in perfect morale there. If I warn them now, I cannot warn them on, uh, warn them on Tuesday. About, uh, or if I criticize them now. So I need to do that on Tuesday. And that's why I do it later on. But the, the official warnings I can do now. And about the official warnings, I always do official warnings whenever I can. Because it improves attributes, so why wouldn't I? And if somebody doesn't agree, he can come and talk to me. Then I will tell him why I officially warned him. But this doesn't happen with official warnings. Official warnings don't get... They, they don't come over for an official warning. They come over if you find them for two weeks. Which I don't feel inclined to do just yet. Because um, the, the performance doesn't warrant it. He can have an official warning though. So um, below 6.0 six, uh, 6 I would uh, start fining. So I, I don't know, somebody was on a 6.1, that was close. I saw some might get one too, no. So um, this, this largely depends, I think it's uh, 6.5 down um, for, the, for the warnings. Okay, Sederberg accepted his warning, Nagongo accepted his, and uh, well, there's a lot of them uh, without any apology or something. So um, for them it will not improve much. Yeah. But Korovich, for example, he should improve in work rate. Yes, he did, yes. But it's not, um, it doesn't do that much um, at the current time. Anyway, so what can we do now? Well, we need to shut up shop, um, first and foremost. This, um, this doesn't work going forward. And whilst it looked uh, rather decent in the first game, uh, we can see too many. So I feel inclined after three games to call a team meeting. But it's just too early. If Karlstadt and Vaseluns go the way it did recently... I don't know, we need to do something about it. To my surprise, or maybe not, um, Anderson's performances haven't been bad so far. I expected him to be the weak spot in the team, but that's what personality makes up for in for in a squad and football manager. So we didn't get off to a great start. The two the two draws I could have dealt with. I could I could have even accepted the third draw, but um, this is also down to the fixture. Um, changes though. We played... Let's have a look into this. So, the draw against Lunds was unlucky, I feel. The draw against Hammerby can always happen. I think Hammerby is one of these... Uh, um, these clubs that is really hard to play. Because um, you never know what they will feel. In their beat team. So in that sense, um, also they, they are always um, in the upper re uh, reaches of the league. I've never seen them down where they are right now. Where are they? Yeah. They're in 13th. I've never seen them down here. This is not where they belong. At least not if uh, last season this uh, is to be accounted for. And then there's Gefle. Gefle came down last season and then it's a surprise that they are still in the league. We can lose against Gefle, that's okay. That happens. So overall, in these three games, I'm not really that concerned. But on the other hand, we need to make a point at, at some point. Right? So Karlstadt is dangerous. And Vaseline says, I will, I will always um, have Vaseline's IF in the back of my head. Just because they cost us promotion in the first season. If we would have won against Vaseline's in the, in the first season in this league, 
We would have gone up. It was the last game of the of the entire season, and they played for nothing, and they well put us to the knife. So um, yeah, I've got a really fond memory of that. Let's put it that way. And then there's the other trash. Umeo, Solentuna, Motala, even Tabby to a degree um, are mid-table probably. Haninge, these guys, Hudigwalds just got promoted. We can always make something against Dalkurt. But th these next two games are really dangerous to me. The rest we will probably be able to deal with to a degree if we can keep morale up. So, the order of the fixtures might influence this too. On the other hand, I really would have loved at the odd point here and there from those three matches. Um, also, uh, Popple, you are probably right. Um, we can also criticize them now. It doesn't make much of a difference. Because they are not perfect anyway. And I think it will... Well, I don't know. If it declines right now and... Um, gets a bit, uh, a bit better later on, um, that might be a good idea. To lose like this. I also really felt that uh, we were the better team, at least um, in the first half. Even though the the, the chances they had uh, looked uh, way more dangerous. So this is Kaltstadt football. For <laughs> well, for free, free. Really pacey guys. Apparently not the best in terms of finishing. Good passing, good creativity, decent dribbling vision. What's bad about him? Heading is bad, anticipation is bad. Goalkeepers don't have good reflexes. No good corners. That's it. So maybe we can keep him away from our goal to a degree. Ekman will not be ball winning midfielder. That will be Asarsson. Who did well by the way. Um in, in training, that is. Let's have a look into this. So he came back after being out on loan, right? Um he was out on loan and um just due to the lack of development, he we put him out on loan. And he also didn't fit our formation at that time. He came back, he made an impact. His form so far has been 7.2, 6.5, 6.5. Yes, that's not great, but the 7.2 has been decent. Um, and he immediately improved. A tiny bit, but improved. Do we want Korovic on the pitch? His form hasn't been great. I hope this improves if we keep him on the pitch. I really do. Is there anyone that needs to be played at this point um, due to happiness concerns? He is dissatisfied because he wants a new contract. And Wickberg de uh, decided he wants a new contract too. Let's have a look into their demands, right? So, Wigberg is bound till 2026. He counts as a squad player. He... Yeah, we will need to play him at some point. I think squad player is okay. I don't want to extend it too much. And this I will not pay him. He will not get paid 55. Or whatever he wants. 
40. And Hagendal will be even worse. Yeah, he moved up. He's an influential player now. And he thinks he deserves a new contract due to being an influential player. How's the, how's the hierarchy? Well, at least Anderson moved up immediately. That's good. Sederberg is up here too. Okay. Sure. I think this is a good time um, to to reflect on the matter, though. Um, so we've done the three hours. Um, I will not be around tomorrow. Um, so the game against uh, Karlstadt football, we will probably do um, the day after. So that'll be Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. So um, I will probably be back Wednesday 9.30, um, GMT plus one. And uh, I, I need to reflect on this a little bit. Um, maybe we can find a solution for this. But um, tomorrow I'll be on the road. I would f like to thank everyone uh, for watching. And uh, thanks for keeping me company. Hopefully the results will be better next time. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway. Sun's shining outside, get some fresh air, and uh, we will see each other soon. Have a nice day. Bye.